President Bush's budget proposal could affect law enforcement officers and first responders here at home. Senator Kent Conrad convened a special field hearing of the U.S. Senate Budget Committee today in Fargo. Valley News Team Steve Poitras has details from the hearing. Cutting 100 percent of the burn grants. Cutting President's budget proposal would slash funding one and a half billion dollars or 65 percent for all state and local law enforcement programs in the Department of Justice. It's breathtaking. I mean, we're not just talking about 10 percent cuts. We're talking about 100 percent cuts. 100 percent cut to the COPS program. 100 percent cut to the burn and justice assistance grant. Unsurprisingly, the panel at the hearing was uniformly opposed to the proposed cuts. It's pain hour, pay later, and I think that these programs being cut will significantly, significantly um, reduce our ability to serve our citizens, and eventually what we'll do is it will increase crime. And I think it would be an incredible mistake. Matter of fact, to some extent, I think it's already been a mistake in terms of the cuts that have already happened. The Bush administration budget proposal would also include a $450 million cut in firefighter assistant grants, which provide direct assistance to local fire departments. Senator Conrad wants to derail the president's proposals. The Senate passed budget resolution that I authored as chairman of the budget committee rejects those proposed cuts. In total, we provide $3.3 billion more than the president's budget for law enforcement and for our first responders. Similar legislation is moving forward in the House. Steve Poitras, Valley News Live. North Dakota has received more than $42 million in COPS funding since the program began. That has put more than 250 additional police officers and sheriff's deputies on the streets and in the field.